Okay, welcome everyone. We're now ready to start taking questions. Thank you for attending, everyone. We're now just going to wrap up the questions. As a rule, games between these sides have you on the edge of your seat. They're certainly the two most successful teams in England with such passionate fans. Stay with us. We'll bring you all the action from Anfield as Liverpool face Manchester United. Well, you could almost put this scene on a postcard. Sun shining brightly at Anfield, absolutely perfect. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And today could be a memorable day for the visitors, an opportunity for them to clinch the league title. It is Liverpool taking on Manchester United. Well, what a chance these players have got to put their name up in lights, to make history. League championships don't come round very often. Don't slip up now. And this is how Liverpool start the game. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. And 
And here's the lineup for Manchester United. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Contest begins. Bowen. Kenny Dalgleish. And taken away. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Ferdinand with it. What can they do from here? Read it well. And so a look at the table, and while they have time on their side, with a win today, Lee, they'll be crowned champions. Yeah, absolutely, Derek. Get the job done. Today is the day. If you get a chance to be champions, you've got to take it. Don't rely on other days. Just get it done. Teammates in the middle. A very effective clearance. Giggs. Skulls. Good work from Liverpool to make sure possession changed hands. Now well, just couldn't keep the ball. Keane, on to best, Scholes, Scholes, and throwing himself up the ball. So the corner played into the box. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And now the delivery. And a goal it is! What does it mean? Well, it means silverware could be coming their way. Oh, that's brilliant. Amazing for the fans. They've got a cushion now. Well, here we see it again, and the corner delivery is good. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Dogleash. He's protecting it effectively. And whipped into the box. He succeeds in clearing it. They're trying to get right into his face. It's going to be United's free kick. Skulls. Keita. Nabi Keita. And Mohamed Salah now. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Struggling to get it away. Well, threat over for now. Well, as you can see, United haven't had too much of the ball. But when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. 
A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. It needs an accurate cross. And he's keen on cutting in. Superbly read and executed. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, I hope these defenders have read the player notes for this game. They're up against the goal machine. They need all their focus and attention. And in with a real chance. Will he? Just couldn't get it through. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. And firing it into the area. Well, that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back. Well, he did everything right, the movement and everything. He got his head on it, but it's way, way off target. Naby Keita. Van Dijk with it. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Barnes. Here's Keita. Plenty of options. Straight offside, but only just. Well, there's the half-time whistle, and it's all going swimmingly. They're just 45 minutes away from being crowned champions today, Lee. Well, you just want to get it wrapped up, Derek, as soon as you can. You don't want to be relying on other games. They've been good money for it, though, this season. Just finish the job off now. Really impressive. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Rio Ferdinand. Now Keane. It's with Alex Teres. It's with Scholes. Rio Ferdinand. And now back with the keeper. Ferdinand. Now Keane. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. John Barnes. And space for them here on the flank. There might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Gerard. And this is Diogo Jota now. Angled for Salah. And he did what he had to do defensively. Giggs. And the right place to cut out the pass. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, in. Able to get his body in the way. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, Liverpool's name of the game is keeping possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Crossing possibilities. Not a good pass. Shot up. This could square the game. Liverpool corner given.
Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Corner kick played in. Salah. He just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. And really closing him down here. Now well, excitement guaranteed here on EA TV live. The Champions League semi-final second leg. It's Liverpool facing Manchester United. Yeah, it surely has to be an epic game. Two sides doing everything in their power to make it to the final. All on the line. Has to be a cracker, Derek. And beyond the last defender, offside. Here it is now, a substitution. Fifteen minutes remaining. Attempting to play catch-up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Liverpool will feel that because the game is so close. It should be! I must say, he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there. Yeah, he wasted opportunity from the short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. Well, excitement guaranteed here on EA TV Live. The Champions League semi-final second leg. It's Manchester United taking on Liverpool. Yes, Derek, one more hurdle to jump into the final. Got to be brave in that game. Easier said than done. There's work to be done to get into a final. Giggs. Giggs might be a chance here. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Steven Gerrard, Kenny Dalglish, a disadvantage Liverpool here. Can these Liverpool players respond to this amazing energy from the fans? Electric in here right now, urging their team on as the clock ticks. And still trying to get the shot off. Oh, a goal! And that could seriously affect the title push. Well, a few of the players had their hands on the trophy already, Derek. Big mistake, that is. Certainly work to be done now. Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Well, there goes the final whistle. No doubt the occasion tinged with a bit of disappointment amongst the players and fans. They were hoping to see the title issue settled today. They'll have to try again next time, Lee. Well, Derek, you can imagine how much those tickets are exchanging hands for, can't you? With the way they've played all season, I can't see them blowing it, to be honest with you. It's just a matter of holding their nerve and finishing off the job now. Hi there, have you got a minute for a question?
That'll be all, thank you. Thank you for your patience. All right, we'll start taking questions now. Thank you for attending. OK, guys, we're out of time. Sorry if you didn't get to ask a question. We're wrapping up now. We are starting to get to the nitty-gritty now. Only four teams remain alive in the Cup, and the scene is set for what should be an exciting semi-final. Who will make it through? It's Liverpool, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. And all systems go here at Anfield, ahead of what should be an enthralling night of football. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And Manchester United are almost within touching distance of a place in the UEFA Champions League final. It is Liverpool versus Manchester United. Thank you, Derek. Welcome, everybody. Well, Liverpool have it all to do after the first leg. Could go either way here. They're going to have to attack the game from the off. But I just wonder if that's going to leave them a little exposed to the counter-attack. Hopefully they can make a game of it, though, for the neutrals.
this is how Liverpool start the game. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. the lineup for Manchester United it looks like a conventional 4-4-2 a preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal two main strikers four across the midfield really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system and they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final Roberto Firmino Owen with it. Yari Littman in. Liverpool have given it away. It's a fine United move in the making. Opportunity it is. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So just to confirm the aggregate scoreline of this tie, 5-1 it is. Quite a bit of pre-match interest in Juan Mata. And the rumours coming out of the camp are that this may be his last season, that he's considering hanging up his boots, Lee. Well, it's never easy deciding when to call it a day, Derek, to be honest with you. Your playing days are the best time of your career. Sometimes you just need a little push, though, from the decision-makers above. The head's willing, but the body's weighing in. It's just a matter of time. Skulls. Giggs. Ronaldo at the ready. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Yari Littman in. Firmino. And here's Littman in. Must score! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And the corner for Liverpool. And deciding to go short with this one. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Favouring the short one. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way you can score there goes either side of the keeper. And a throw in it's going to be. Good looking sequence. Advantage Manchester United. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in here. Can he finish? Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. And firing it into the area. And punched away. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Not a good pass. Beautifully timed. 
A wonderful pass, Van Nistelrooy. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, here's the replay. And Derek, a lot of the time, the keeper saved the day. The last line of defence. But he's had a nightmare here. Big mistake. And the goal goes down to him. So the aggregate score now, 6-1 here. Barnes. Owen. And he read it well, intercepting it. Owen. And back with Firmino. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Paul Scholes, but a poor ball giving possession back to the opposition. And the referee says play on, advantage Liverpool. Steven Gerrard. Dalglish. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Firmino, now with Owen. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. Good use of advantage in United's favour. A real opening now. In it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Fabinho. It looks useful from John Barnes. And he's beaten him here. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Van Nistelrooy. Roy Keane. It's with Scholes. That's very well cut out by Steven Gerrard. Well, being pressed here. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Keane. A fine reading of the situation. Not a particularly strong challenge, but he could run onto it here. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. 
Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. Real chance. And intercepted it. And the referee says penalty. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Here it is now, a substitution. Sided contest, 4 0. Tiago Skriniar Salah Rush. Now Mo Salah. Defensive efficiency personified. Threading it through, Paul Scholes. Can he put it in? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, he never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. John Barnes. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game. a real cracker you should be tuning in for that one and United will switch things around personnel wise always going to be the goalkeeper's ball opportunity for Origi well hey Can he take advantage? Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Some out and out pasting. 6 0. 
And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And the referee says play on, advantage Liverpool. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Can they hit on the break? Can they take advantage of the situation? And in with a real chance. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Origi. John Barnes. Very well read by Moore. Doug Leash. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Well, nicely cut out. Not much time to make up his mind. Cristiano Ronaldo. United might be able to cash in. He's in here. Can he finish? I don't think the goalkeeper will be complaining about poor finishing like that, Lee. No, it's not about the goalkeeper. It's about that poor effort. That really is awful. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Lippmanen. Thiago. Dalglish. Here's Thiago. And now the whistle United fans wanted to hear. Manchester United have ascended to the high altar of the Champions League final. Well, going into this semi-final, you'd expect teams to be nervous, not sure of the outcome. When we look at the outcome now, it's too easy for them. Confidence will be building after that result. Can they keep that confidence and pick the trophy up in the next game? We'll wait and see. It's a fine United. Just a moment of your time. Thank you, that's all the questions we've got for you. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll take some questions now. Yeah, thank you.
Thank you very much for attending. Um, we apologise if you were unable to get your question in. A meeting of two sides who have been very much at the heart of the English football story in recent years. It's Blues against Reds, Chelsea versus Manchester United, live from Stamford Bridge on EA TV. Ideal weather conditions for football here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And today could be a memorable day for the visitors, an opportunity for them to clinch the league title. It is Chelsea versus Manchester United. Well, what a chance these players have got to put their name up in lights, to make history. League champions don't come round very often. Don't slip up now. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. And that's what you want from the player. The top end of your pitch, get the ball, put the ball in the net. It's a simple job, really. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kai Havertz plays with Christian Pulisic out wide. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the full-backs to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And the fans settling into their seats here at Stamford Bridge. We are underway. Rio Ferdinand now with Maldini Paul Scholes Keane well can they open up the defence here Chelsea have it back now And so, a look at the table, and while they have time on their side, with a win today, Lee, they'll be crowned champions. Yeah, absolutely, Derek. Get the job done. Today is the day. If you get a chance... Could go ahead! Goalkeeping of the highest quality from Van der Sar. Well, I haven't seen a save as good as that for a long, long time. Short corner favour. It had an invitation attached. 
but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks it's in just wide. George Best. Now Keane. Given away by Manchester United. And Chelsea have given us away. Shevchenko. Free kick to Chelsea. Well cleared away. Skulls. Ryan Giggs has it. Best. Owen. It's with Skulls. Owen. Owen. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Paul Skulls. Best. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Michael Owen. Now, let's see what they can do here. Can he put it in? There it is! Magical moment. Surely one hand on the trophy, Lee. History beckons. There's no way they'll throw this away now. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past the lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. The opening goal of the game, then. Pulisic. Balak. And Ferdinand with it. Zambrota. Gianluca Zambrota. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Zambrota and on to Zambrota Gianluca Zambrota now with Zambrota trailing as they are what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it Lee this Chelsea side just needs to up the tempo a little bit in the second half especially in midfield they've had some joy the team's nearly clicking but just not quite there might be able to get in behind the defence and Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Owen with it. This might be ideal for the counter. Giggs. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Over it comes. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, there's the half-time whistle, and it's all going swimmingly. They're just 45 minutes away from being crowned champions today, Lee. Well, you just want to get it wrapped up, Derek, as soon as you can. You don't want to be relying on other games. They've been good money for it, though, this season. Just finish the job off now. Really impressive. And the ball moving again. Advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Yeah. 
Rio Ferdinand. Now with Zambrosa. Keane. He's given it straight to the opposition. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Dangerous ball. Not to be this time. Very straightforward for Van der Sar. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And Chelsea regaining possession. Have they given him too much space? He could pick out a teammate. Pulisic. And the defender takes care of business. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Owen. Giggs. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Well, Chelsea did well to regain control of it. Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Larson, and it's a quality pass. Is it going to be? Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Substitution time it is. Played into the centre of the box. Well, no end product. Giggs. Oh, a tremendous block. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing West Ham United. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek. And that should be an absolute belter. Michael Owen. Well, it's been all United in the last 15 minutes or so, Derek. They've created a lot from midfield. Their forwards are having a field day. Coach will be really happy with the creativity, but he'd be even happier if he can extend their lead now. Very happy indeed. Paul Scholes. And Moore. Scholes. It's with Scholes. Now Keane. Gianluca Zambrotta. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Only ten minutes remaining here. Paul Scholes. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Southampton. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Owen. Rio Ferdinand. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. It's a fine United move in the making. This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response.
Well, here's the replay, and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me, and the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. It's going their way, 2-0. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. There's the whistle, and the celebrations can truly begin in earnest now. They are the champions. Well, you worked so hard on and off the pitch for moments like these, and you can't say they don't deserve it. Been absolutely superb this season. They're going to enjoy this, and why shouldn't they? Well, the celebrations will continue long into the night, and don't forget they'll receive the trophy at the next home game. Naturally, we'll have all the coverage of that live here on EA TV. Short corner favoured. Some questions regarding the match? Thank you for your time.